Hi, in this video I'll demonstrate how to replace the battery on the RCT Mega Power 1000. The first thing is the unit must be switched off. The AC input is unplugged and the battery switch, the circuit breaker here, is down. On the side of the unit there are several screws that need to be removed. Go around and remove each one of those screws. There are eight screws on each side. Once you've removed the screws, pull the cover upwards, like that. The reason why it needs to be pulled upwards is because there are two pieces of metal here which, which have to tuck in on the inside there. Now turn the unit around and open the other side. Right, once you've removed the eight screws on this side, slide the side cover upwards. At this point, you could remove the battery by removing that aluminium holding bracket. In the remainder of the video, I'm going to show how to remove the battery without having to bend the aluminium holding bracket. Right, turn the unit on its side. I've got to unscrew one, two, three on that side and one, two, three at the bottom. Right, now using a size 13, I can undo each terminal. This is the positive terminal. And I'll put this one side. And now I can remove the negative terminal. I just need to remove these three screws. They are star or a size 8 hex. Then there are three more on the other side. Being very careful not to short out the battery terminals, I now remove that holding bracket. Right, to replace the battery, I position the battery like this. Notice the positive terminal is on this side. On this side there are holes for where the back cover is going to screw into. The negative terminal, on the other hand, its holes are on the sides, not underneath. I return the holding bracket. I screw in the six screws. I return the other three screws. Starting with the positive, I screw the terminal onto the battery. I now lift the unit and get the negative lined up to the negative terminal. I now screw in the negative terminal. Never let the chassis short out the two terminals. Be very careful when tightening. If you are tightening the positive terminal last, please do not let the spanner touch the chassis. It will short out the battery. I cover the terminals and I reseat the front and the back panels. The front goes over it and the back also goes over. And now I'm going to flip this on its side. Be very careful. Make sure that the battery terminals are covered and they cannot short on the chassis. Never let the positive and the negative terminals touch the top of the unit. The battery will be shorted out and you'll damage your battery. I now return these three screws and the ones on the other side. You might need to hold it in place while you're screwing it in. I now flip the unit over. Making sure I align the flaps over the sides here. I slide this on. I now return all the screws and do the same on the other side. Once you've returned all the screws, you can lift the breaker. Power on the unit to check that it is functioning from the battery. I have not plugged in the mains, I'm only using it from the battery. The battery is operational. You might find these screws are not very easy to work with and as you can see the head is stripped. In order to get the screw out, I had to drill it out and then turn it with pliers. If this happens to you, just replace the screws with another type. Thanks for watching and cheers.